Now, what is there to do in the off season here in downtown Sandusky? Well, we're here with the very first episode of Underrated Sandusky. So whether you're coming during peak park time and just looking to spend one day that you have off from the parks out on the town, or you're coming during the off season, what is there to do in downtown Sandusky? Well, we're gonna find that out right now. So let's go. And here I am in downtown Sandusky. The off season, but that doesn't mean Sandusky ceases to exist. There's lots of stuff to do down here. Now right now it is lunchtime. So we're initially looking for something to eat and then something to buy later. So I'm already seeing this, Vara tacos and cocktails. That may be a good option actually. But we're gonna just kind of keep walking for a little bit. We've got a coffee house here too. It looks like this is kind of the main street where you're gonna have lots of stuff. They have the old state theater here. Something I would love to see the inside of. I love those ornate, beautiful theaters. They also have Daly's Pub here too. We have to make a decision on where we wanna go. I'm thinking actually the cocktails looks best to me. Before I head back there though, there is also Tony's Pizza right down here. Um, this is also the site of O Taco and the hotel that I stayed at during the season this last year. And then we also have the Shade and Mylander Plaza right here. We're gonna go check that out for right now. Really fast before we go hit, hit a uh, quick restaurant. Now this is where if you stay at the hotels uh, that are down here, although I think there's only one in downtown, um, but if you stay there, you can actually hit the Jet Express from this park right here um, within a very, very short walk of the uh, boutique hotel that I was able to, to stay in. And Jet Express would take you directly to Cedar Point. Um, it would also take you to the islands, put in Bay, Kelly's Island, um, all of those, if that was what you would like to do. They also have this wake up waffles, a bruncheery. Ooh. Established in 2020. And that's part of the marketplace downtown. I've already seen that. I didn't realize you had the waffles there. I don't think we're gonna stop there now, but it's nice to know that there's a big parking lot here too. If that's some place you would wanna visit on maybe a day off at the parks here in Sandusky. Also, this parking lot is right off of this alley, leading you to a couple different restaurants and the marketplace downtown. Love little places like this. I find them to be so much fun. When you can find little out of the way places, the best. I already got their house margarita here. Um, she recommended that, and then apparently you can add some other things onto it, and this comes with a salt rim. I love the old fireplace. Oh my word, it's such a pretty place. And here's the menu. Apparently they have like a hibachi meal that comes in a taco. It has yum yum sauce, rice, eggs, you know, all that kind of stuff, chicken. I'm not sure that that's what I want though. I, I think I'm going for just kind of a, maybe even an appetizer. Uh, the chili con queso sounds pretty good, but we'll, we'll look at what all they have. All right, let's try this margarita. Love us all, Rem. It's so good. I just went very, very simple with chili con queso. Um, and some chips um, the, and then I also ordered some street corn on the side um, this is looking very very good try that I mean could you possibly go wrong so good well, this all came out incredibly quickly here's the street corn then We'll try that next. Cotija cheese, some uh, green, uh, no, some cilantro. Make sure we get a little bit of all that. Of course, the corn. 
And I feel like this would taste really good with chips too. Oh, oh my word. That's so good. It all came out so fast too. This is fantastic. This chili con queso is like perfectly spicy. Um, it has just enough, like it's not spicy at all on the front end. And then the spice like really hits you right at the end, like literally on the back of my head. I think it makes the back of my head tingle. <laughs> right here. <laughs> wow, that was a fantastic place. Really strong drinks, some delicious food, a really fun atmosphere. And I got tons of leftovers. Like this is a full meal beyond. So absolutely fantastic. I'm feeling a little bit toasty. And uh, we're headed to my car right now. Um, and we're actually gonna go check out that Irish pub and possibly the marketplace. We'll see. Now, apparently though, most things here in Sandusky are not open on Mondays, which is why like that place is usually actually kind of packed. Uh, today it really wasn't packed, so that's good. But um, I was listening to some conversations happening uh, with my server where they were saying, man, I can't believe we found a spot and stuff like that. So um, now some of that I think has to do with the holidays um, just recently, but still I'm glad that we got some space today. This is cool looking. Peddler's Alley. Are there places to shop back here? Is it just a place to walk? Wow. It's a cool old building. The brick on it is so cool. Yeah, it looks like there are a few shops. I don't think they're open, but this is the kind of place where I'm gonna have to make it back here um, next year uh, while I'm here in Sandusky for, for the summer or this year for the summer, I guess, uh, since it is 2023 now. Um, but yeah, this is a cool place. And there's just a lot of there's a lot more stuff in downtown Sandusky than I think a lot of people give it credit for. And not to mention, you could easily take the ferry from Cedar Point to here um, and come to one of these restaurants. You wouldn't have to eat at Cedar Point if you didn't want to. Cost a little bit of extra money, maybe $10 more per person, something like that. Um, might be a little bit less than that. I've not taken the ferry route from Sandusky to Cedar Point yet. Um, but still, it'd be a fun place to be able to come and hang out uh, if you kind of want to change your pace, especially if you're here often, or if you want to eat a little bit cheaper or a little bit nicer than you would at Cedar Point. Looks like it's not open yet, but Looks like they're even gonna have like a Segway tour that you can take down here. So now we're headed over to Daly's Pub. Also, some of these buildings, including the uh, restaurant I just went to, have an incredible facade. Some of these are just beautiful. Daly's Pub, let's go. As soon as you come in here, it's a really cool place with a ton of brick, um, a big bar all the way around it course the music behind me and then it looks like like a big room like a club room kind of a thing right back there uh, where they could have concerts or whatever they want to have dances things like that all right and a jack and coke all right so daily's pub is basically nondescript you know i mean it's basically a pub it's kind of everything you would expect from that pub experience um here in sandusky a fun place, a fine place. They had some good music going on. Um, maybe I'll be back sometime, but uh, definitely worth uh, checking in too. Now, right now we're headed into the marketplace downtown. I don't even know if this is gonna be open. Oh, it is. I don't know what's in here, but we're gonna check it out. I mean, it looks like they have some cool, shops that they're about to be opening this one still has the gravel in it so it's obviously a pretty new kind of situation here it's cool stuff from the oh my word 
history hid within the walls of the Cook Building. Melville, Melville Browse Drugstore. Oh my word. Bottles from a shoe store. This is so cool. I love this kind of history. Concessions, oh my word. This is so cool. Like I said, I mean, it looks like a lot of things aren't open, but like, if it was open, if it wasn't a Monday, because it sounds like Monday's when all these things are closed. Yeah. Wasn't quite sure this was gonna take me. Oh, this takes me back to Wake Up Waffle. All right. Well, and then this is a little spot here where you can buy merchandise. There's all kinds of Great Lakes goodies. It'd be fun to go shop there sometime. But for right now, but for right now, I've kind of gone on a nice little walk. I've come down from my toastiness. I'm now, uh, what's the opposite of toasty? I'm just regular bread. <laughs> I'm also very, very interested in this place. Matter of fact, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and check it out since it is one more place that's open. Also this food and wine and spirits place. That looks cool too, but it's not open. Love music places, this is so cool. Wow, cool. Cool brick wall too. And then actually, if you're here in Sandusky and you need a musician, musicians looking for work. Public parking in downtown Sandusky is also free. So if you wanted to come down here, have breakfast, take the ferry to the park, and then park here all day in either the parking garage behind me or in one of the parking spaces, this could be an option for you for a potentially cheaper way, depending on how many people are in your party, to get into Cedar Point. Um, so, I mean, you'd have to pay per ticket. So even if it's $5 per ticket, that could get as expensive as parking, uh, depending on how big your group is. But it would also give you a little bit more flexibility and it could also save you time to get across the way to Cedar Point instead of getting stuck in a flow of traffic that you cannot get out of while you're on the causeway. So that may actually end up being a good option. And it is something I'm planning on trying out at some point this next year. So it's been fun. I hope you guys have found something here that you think kind of looks interesting. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. Uh, what kinds of things would you like me to check out? Especially if you're local, what kinds of things do I need to see? And what kinds of things, if you're not local, looked interesting to you? Uh, sound off down in the comments. Love to hear from you down there. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's go.